Yeah, no doubt about it. Okay, there we go. So two debris balls, or debris being lofted in the air, okay? EF zeros or EF ones, but strong enough to get velocity up high enough that we can see it in the air. Two mesocyclones, two tornadoes on the ground at the same time. Welcome to Oklahoma. All right, it is October 10th, 2021. I am in that black circle there. Um, that is the hail outlook. So we look at the uh, tornado. We, we've got a 15% chance here. Wind, and this is tonight in about four hours. Wind, strong winds, and then hail. Pretty much everything in that black circle. I am right where that is. So let's go outside and take a look. In Oklahoma City, it was cloudy. The temperature was 82. Okay, we are under tornado watch. There is a very strong risk of the OKC metro area of tornadoes and strong hail. There's been no activity all summer, even though now October's here. These houses are going up so fast. We are expecting, <laughs> we're expecting these to hit in about 7 p.m. and I'll keep you posted if anything interesting happens. I am not chasing this. They said 60 mile per hour uh, tornadoes and they're gonna be too fast to, to get out of the way of. So I'm not chasing these. There's Twister, our dog, and our daughter torturing him. They're the best of friends. Okay, because of the risk of hail, we only have so much space. This is filled up. I took my new Jeep, put it in here, parked it over the storm shelter in case things were to fall. If it gets too dicey, we're gonna go down there. I cleaned it out yesterday. Would you believe there was a scorpion down there? We have these bark scorpions, I think they are, wood scorpions. They're little, and there were at least 10 spiders down there, and some of which looked a lot like brown recluses. It is very, very nasty down there, but I pulled a little too far forward, but ideally you'd want your car over this so you could get down in there if you had to, the storm shelter, and if debris comes down, the car could possibly you know, catch some of the debris and you'd still be able to get out. It's kind of going to be around this I-44 corridor from down here, down in Altus and Lawton, all the way up to Oklahoma City. That's really going to be kind of dangerous as this front moves on, on through and, you know, keeping an eye on that as uh, storms do develop. Um, as far as timing goes, um, we're going to start to expect storms to start firing here in the next in the next hour or so, especially down in southwestern Oklahoma, Lubbock's already actually had some storms pop up in their area that's had up to, I believe, 70 mile per hour winds over in that area. miles away and this is when this storm is going to move in if it continues at this track if it gets stronger it will slow down speed and will likely begin to kind of bend a little bit more down to the east and so more to norman to slaughterville to wayne to lindsay you're paying very close attention to the storm we are as well obviously but still this right here is not what you ever want to see 
And uh, here we are dealing with the tornado warning it goes until 630. And this storm, just given all the data that we see right now, is likely going to continue to stay warned on as it continues to move up to the northeast. And the conditions are only going to continue to get even more supportive for tornadoes as we go into the next few hours. Right around sunset, the conditions for this tornado to get even stronger will likely continue to be there. So we're, we're not... We're not in the wind, we're not out of the uh, in, in the clear at all. Carnegie, 624, and then some metro communities right here. Thank you, Jonathan, for doing that. I uh, really kind of highlighting some metro of you know, this storm and that this track. Just follow it with me here. Bam, that comes right up into OKC, and that's more than likely going to do it. See, that's if we're 95 miles away, and this is moving at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. We're talking about in that 7:30 to 8 o'clock window when this storm is going to move in if it continues at this all track. day long out of this thing and uh, it is headed right towards cooperton so if you're in cooperton i mean it, 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 if i gave this on a scale of 10 10 being it's got a tornado on the ground we're like at an eight or a nine right now it is spinning really really fast and i can just pop my head in the view but uh if you're in cooperton right now you need to take cover immediately this thing is i mean this is some of the fastest rotation that i've seen all day long uh, it's centralized in the right location as well, so it has really good, really good strong inflow going into it right now. The rear flank downdraft of the west winds on the south side of the rotation, we can see them kicking out, and then everything come back in. So if it if it's not on the ground right now, which it may, it actually may be. I think I may see something in there right now. It's really hard to tell because it's it's trying to put some rain into the center as well, so it's making it really difficult to see um, directly to the ground. Uh, but I would not be shocked if there's not a tornado right now on the ground. We're, we're getting hit with some pretty strong winds where we're setting right now. Back to you, Damon. Be, be safe, my friend. Currently in Roosevelt, this tornado warning continues and storms even just south of it just produce 80 mile an hour wind in Alta. So this is a wind threat. We said this earlier in the day and nothing has changed. Tornado damaging wind threat. Uh, let's go out to field meteorologist Michael Armstrong and Storm Command. <laughs> Michael, give us an update on what you're seeing right now, Michael. I mean, look at this, Damon. My goodness. We are looking south, southwest, down toward the storm that Derek is talking about. The difference between our view and his is that we have backlighting. You can see the clear skies south of the storm. That tells you that this thing has got really, really good inflow, clean inflow into the storm. Now, that doesn't mean that's good for the storm in terms of uh, what it can do. I mean, that's a bad sign if you're in Cooperton um, and on to the northeast up toward Carnegie. So we are just to the south of Mountain View. I think Mountain View could take some serious hail with this storm. We're getting ready to actually be on the move, but man, just look at look at how low that is. Um, it just looks like it's... And uh, there it was, the tornado, it was right there. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it's still there. I can see it rotating right there. Uh, it looks like it's moving more to the east right now, so it might have turned just a little bit, uh, which would be great for the town of Cooperton. Uh, so we're, again, we're watching it here as it comes up on Highway 54. There's a lot of traffic down there. I think they're storm chasers, so I, hopefully they know what they're doing. Uh, but you can see, again, everything now starting to kind of cross and come up on Highway 54. I, I can't tell if it's lifted or not. It, it's kind of hard to see with that dark uh, lighting back there behind it. But uh, there was definitely a tornado there briefly. Uh, Damon, back to you. Derek, we can still see it, by the way. I know a different perspective here and different lighting, but we can still see it. It is going to be right here. Derek, you're in the perfect location. And so that picture is so important. Derek, please be safe, too, by the way. But that is a tornado. You can see it there. It's still over some open, uh, open land here, so it's kicking up quite a bit of dirt. But... That's exactly where it is, and so you hope that if it's moving more to the right, Cooperton, hopefully that this can just miss the community of Cooperton. You know how some of these towns are in this part of the state. Uh, you get just even a couple hundred yards outside of the city limits, and you're back over farmland, and so that is, uh, that's, that's where we, if we're going to have to a storm here. Actually, we'll go back out to Derek Klein. Derek, give us an update on what you're saying. Okay, we'll go out to Storm Command. Let's check in with Storm Command if we can. Michael, give us an update on what you're saying. Okay, uh, so on North 2380, that's the county road. For anybody who lives out there, they know in rural areas what those county roads are like. So North 2380 
and very close to East 1470. I think a new tornado is about to spin up, Damon. Uh, just looking at it, uh, analyzing everything. So I'm, I'm analyzing radar here in Storm Command while I'm uh, actually on the move as well in Storm Command. Uh, just using that meteorological train, you know, over 20 years, that's what you do. You, you use all the tools that you have and just looking at my 360 cam around the sky. We have a lot of dark skies around us. I, guys, I know there's a lot of storms around and probably folks are, are a little nervous, a little scared. <laughs> within that ball and that rain right there, but easy to see the inflow. And once again, Anna Darko, you're in your tornado shelter. We are, as Jonathan is highlighting out here, we are about 55 miles away from the Oklahoma City Metro, south sides of the Metro, moving at 55 miles per hour. It means that right now it is 630. You have one hour for this until this storm moves in. So if you're watching more, Norman, Goldsby, Washington, as you go out towards, uh, let's say, Blanchard, Dibble, um, this storm is going to be racing in here pretty, pretty quickly. So you have one hour. Now is the time to start gathering things up. You're not in your tornado. All right. Things are starting to cook around here. Starting to simmer, getting dark. That is west. West, Edmond, that way. Oklahoma City, that way. We are northeast. This is Highway 44 across here, east. So we're getting this ridge line here. There's a front moving through. Already tornadoes for sure. That does not mean we will get one. Doesn't mean we won't either. So we are prepared. We are still an hour, hour and a half away from the big punch. And I will try to include you on that. Just trying to hear our first thunder. I'm gonna go switch to your car, Mom. Okay. Carly, when it's the trees start falling over, that's the time to go in the shelter. monster storm coming into Chickasha right now. I mean, it is it is super intense. It's super intense. And uh, Michael, and I want everyone to hear this meteorologist, storm chasers, brand new data coming in right now. And the official word from at least uh, coming in from the National Weather Service, this does not look good, especially across the Oklahoma City Metro and south sides of the Metro. So pretty much our cap as at the surface uh, is, is gone. Uh, we have really really brought in quite a bit of of, uh, of humidity and the winds are ramping up so once again things are not looking good especially south sides of the metro blanchard to newcastle let's go back over to the radar washington to goldsby so while this storm continues to spin it's going to get even worse and we mentioned this about 45 minutes ago we said look the storm's going to roll across grady county it is going to ramp up and it's going to do it especially as we go just east of chickasha okay i am right in that area we are definitely going to definitely going to get hit by something but like always the a very big tornadoes tend to go through more it's going to go that way we're going to get some probably strong winds
Air Storm Command. Uh, looking right into this, they're moving to the east about 35 miles per hour. So now the northern fringe of this warning does run across Stanley Draper, but the current track is likely going to keep this storm just south of Draper, right over Thunderbird, right over Lake Thunderbird. Those features as these kind of come in here. Uh, but right here, I know in Moore, the sirens are going off right now all across Moore. And so uh, we have a couple areas of rotation to watch, one right along 4th Street near Veterans Park. A little bit of at least a kink back in here. It's not a very strong tornado, but it just popped up here just we moments ago. So wherever you see it kind of going back like this, right along 4th Street. Right and here. We need to move Veterans right Park, along right there. Right near Highland East Junior High. And as you make way, here's the Rock Creek neighborhood, Heritage Trails Elementary School. It's just a little bit of a, an appendage that went back. It's, uh, it's, it's not. If you have it, and here is the area of spin located there just to the west of the river wind casino right now so emily sutton she is in more emily hey,